what is up the YouTubes it has been it has been a long time stuff has been crazy been busy and as you can see we're in something else so this one here is actually one I just finished up um, it's a 1981 Firebird Pontiac Firebird it has small block Chevy and a turbo 350 in it so we're gonna I'll do a walkthrough through it uh, explain what I did where it started where it came from but uh, we're putting some miles on it here um, it's got a new set of gears in it gonna go up here and kind of hang some uh, constant load on it for higher RPM mile an hour and uh, try to get the gear set good good contact patch and tooth pattern and stuff on that get them get them seated in well um but yeah so here we be but uh let's uh let's roll but uh definitely cool car cool car i mean i was born in the early 80s this is 81 smoking the bandit style but uh definitely cool stuff It's uh, it's that. So, <clears throat> story behind it. A uh, customer brought it to us, and it wasn't running. Uh, another shop had kind of put it together. Essentially, uh, kind of did what he wanted to do, but I guess not. I don't know. Didn't quite achieve the goal that he was after with it. So, car has good bones. Um, they went over it they put a crate like a target 350 four bolt main steel headed small block in it it's got a tci turbo 350 transmission in it and like i said put gears in it obviously they did brakes and stuff but it never kind of lived up to the full potential of what he had wanted so um actually brought it to us it it wasn't it wasn't running would not run um and it had an edelbrock carburetor on it and stuff um obviously you can see they did the dakota digital dash in it they did the auto or was that rate auto sound i don't know what the name of the radio is like the bluetooth radio it's got a b&m ratcheting shifter in it interior is in nice shape power window car power door locks t-top fisher fisher t-top car um it's got the the bigger snowflake wheels on it but uh essentially just brought it to us to kind of make it what he wanted he's like it, it won't even spin the tire it won't really get out of its own way it doesn't stop um steering feels like it's all over the place but like i said the car had good bones so essentially we came up with a game plan to uh kind of go over the car and make it what he wanted so gm guy at heart that i am i was like i can get you fixed up so essentially set this down here for a second pop his hood on this thing Essentially, what we did was pulled a small lock out, <clears throat> went through that. Like I said, it was a it's was a brand new GM crate motor. I, I don't honestly, I think this entire build when they did it, I think at least according to the odometer when it came in, it had like 102 miles on it, so not much time on it at all. So I pulled the motor out, pulled the heads off of it and i was like this thing just needs to breathe so it's got a set of airflow research uh 195 cc uh cnc ported 62 or 62 62 cc combustion chamber in it um the motor is a flat top deal with four valve reliefs 
so it went essentially from nine to one like i think they were actually 8.9 to one is what this motor was rated to now it's essentially almost 10 to one so we added about a point of compression um did a howard racing uh roller cam converted to a roller deal i uh, don't have the cam specs i don't i don't have it memorized but it's uh it's a pretty rowdy little cam um for street car you know what i mean so it's a uh, it's one of them deals where it's it is nice but uh it's got some thump to it we'll actually uh we'll fire it up here and go from there but uh did a did a holly fuel injection on it <clears throat> let's see here did a holly uh, sniper on it with the hyper spark but it's uh Got really good sound to it. Kept the kept the tips for the Firebird. <clears throat> it is full three inch with an X pipe um, up over the axle. Here we'll crack it a couple times. Sounds really good. It makes all the noises but uh with the motor the motor we did the edelbrock air gap intake like i said it is the sniper on it does have the hyper spark distributor uh ignition box cd box and the coil um that cam i did a moroso high volume oil pump on it did uh roller rockers hardened push rods obviously the did go a little thinner on the head gasket obviously to get the compression up to try to get the compression to compression to horsepower so we're trying to get horsepower out of the thing um did that i'm gonna say essentially this combination i mean it's making a solid 360 380 the tire i mean the, the motor should make probably four and a quarter somewhere in that neighborhood they are inch and three quarter uh headman headers like i said full three inch uh did v-band to the to the essentially x pipe deal and with the exhaust cutouts um then did a fti it's a 10 inch it's around a obviously stalls determined by horsepower but it sh it stalls to i think they were rated at they rated it a 2500 i think it's around more around 32 like i said i think it's making a little bit more power um it uh did that reseal the transmission transmission had a bunch of leaks tail shaft old trans pan uh, sec uh selector seal was leaking so fixed all that up um did a griffin big radiator in it dual spall fans i think they're 14 inch fans big fans thing runs really good really cool um also converted to hydro boost because it would not stop i don't think i don't know what they had going on with the deal but it had a vacuum pump in it with a can and it was just kind of hydro boost is the way to go anything i put hydro boost on i'm gonna put hydro boost on it um the thing stops phenomenal and it even has it's got uh will woods on the front it's got regular just uh like gm metric calipers on the back with drilled and slotted rotors um just an all-around good car it's got two real upper and lower control arms on it qa1 stuff all the way around qa1 double adjustable shocks on the back it is still leaf spring um did the holly sniper uh tank so it's got a, a 450 liter per hour fuel pump in the tank which you can see there also did uh and then there you can see the exhaust did the v-bands on the on the mufflers so essentially it's all modular you can take it all off lines back up 
Also did a set of uh, 390 Richmond gears in the rear. Moroso girdle cover. Um, it's got sway bar. Just the, it's got all polyurethane, like uh, leaf spring bushings in it, motor mounts, control arm bushings. It's a good car. It's an awesome driver car. And it was just, it was lacking that last little bit. So he brought it to us and kind of told me what he wanted. And I was like, I'll get you a list together and you won't be disappointed. And truth be told, the man come in this morning and he was pumped. We went for a ride. I said, I'm going to take you for a ride. I said, and then I'll let you drive. So I took out here and cut her loose and he was, uh, he was grinning ear to ear. He was definitely, he was definitely pumped and it's what it should have been originally. So very, very happy with it. Also, obviously it's got a shaker hood on it. Had to go back through and they had it kind of set up. It was, it was different. It had just an Edelbrock performer, uh, intake on it before put the air gap on it so obviously it's higher i made the base out of aluminum flat piece then rolled rolled the outside edge tig welded all that together so essentially it's a receiver so it has like a smaller cup that goes over the the inner so it's got an inner piece inner piece here so it sits and then essentially the top piece goes over and then it has bolts to bolt to it to keep it supported um the fuel line you can see there it's all ptfe fuel line it's eight fed six return 10 micron uh stainless mesh fuel filter in it ran all the way back from the tank um just just a good functional street car like granted it's a three speed it's got some gear in it it's not the best at cruising the highway at 80 mile an hour at four grand but it's stoplight to stoplight it's a good fun car um and it handles really well take this thing and throw it around the turns especially with the hydro boost on it now um stops really 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 well um but it just it checks all the boxes oh one of the other big things it did on it was the uh, steering shaft on these second gens they usually have a rag joint I eliminated the rag joint they do make there's a i think it's like second gen something or I, I don't know the name of the the company they do make a shaft for it this shaft is actually for metric car like a g body or an s10 which it's about nine inches too short so what i did was got me some more double d shaft measured it up it's still collapsible so if you would wreck this thing's not going to impale you it's going to collapse it's not going to come through the steering wheel but anyway uh measured up what i need cut it down tig weld it together and voila you have a very positive feel steering second gen camaro firebird and without much headache so because the splines on the box are the same the d-shaft coming out of the columns the same so it, it just it just worked um like i said the 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 brake stuff like i said the foundation of the car was there it just needed what it was lacking um we had to go back through and adjust the the windows the windows are way out of whack on it um only other thing that's left that we are going to do is it is an ac car but the the duct worked in these things anybody who drives a late model car gets in this thing you turn the ac on it's like man it just doesn't feel like it's working well well we're spoiled with the the late model stuff that we get in and then you get something like this and it's like man it really doesn't feel that great but we're gonna do like a conversion that puts the evaporator and the heater core all in one box up under the dash eliminates the whole evaporator out under the hood that's about the only other thing left on the checklist they are on back order so we got to order that but essentially it's a it's a sweet little machine so and best part about it is gave the man a budget and as we stand we came in under budget so he's happy i'm happy everybody's happy and it does everything and then some that he wanted it to do and it's the little stuff cleaning up the engine bay cleaning up the wiring harness making brackets like this 
painting that you know just just the little stuff that goes the little extra way that you didn't tell me you were going to do but you do it anyway so that's just kind of how this stuff rolls but definitely a, a clean car um it's got eyes but uh and it runs it runs really good it does have subframe connectors on it um exhaust is nice nice and tucked up nice and high but it's a uh, everybody's happy so that's all that matters but just want to kind of do a little video there because i ain't been doing him in a while and i'm i'm very happy with this one he's very happy with it and i'm pretty sure he found us through youtube so i figured I better get back on the stick here a little bit and um, put some more to it but it's definitely definitely one to be proud of so and he's gonna be happy with it and he'll go out here and play with it and have a good time with it so just so you know now you know whether like i always say you ain't gotta talk about it you gotta be about it so that's what we're out here doing so i'm gonna plug laptop in a little bit more and uh, do some more fine tuning on it see if we can get these uh cold and hot starts dialed in but that's about where we're at so sweet old piece